Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to see about the logical instructions. In the previous session we have seen move and today and in this session we are going to see logical. Fine. So when it comes to logical we are having four gates and R, XR, not. Fine. So let's do and first. So it is a bitwise end. Fine. Bitwise means what? It will be binary. So you need to give the binary address. Let's give b3 colon 0. And it is having three parameters. One is source A, source B and destination. So whatever data we are giving in source A, is, it will do and operation with b3 colon 1 which is in source B. Correct. So these two datas are doing the bitwise and operation and storing the result in destination. So let's go for the destination addresses b3 colon 2. Got it? So let's go for it. So exactly it is the bitwise and fine. So see if I go for run condition on it is giving 4 as an answer. Already I have some data in b3 colon 0 and b3 colon 1 4 4. Can you see? That's what it is giving for. So to see the exact uh, uh, bitwise you can go for the data files and click on this binary. Check out here. I'll just zoom it. Yeah. Can you see? Oh, everything is 0 0 here only 1. So it will do bitwise and means right 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 1. This is and no. What is and gate? It should be giving 1 only if both are 1. If any 1 is 1 it will it will not give. See this is 1 but 1 0 0. Suppose if you are making this also to 1 it will be 1. Correct. So this is bit, bitwise and fine. So I will just change some value here. Even we can change here also. But once it is pressed, just click enter. So that it will be. So if I give 1 here, it will do in the 1. Correct. Fine. This is and gate. Got it? Fine. And gate. This is and gate. Bitwise and. So first bit, 0th bit is comparing with another 0th bit. So it will be both are. 0 0 answer will be 0 both are 1 it will be giving 1 if any one is 1 another one is 0 answer will be 0 because that is under gate fine so let's see the same thing for our gate let's take a branch I am just copying the same instruction and putting over here and I will just change the name because I am going to use same uh, source address I mean same data but I am going to change the destination address because b3 colon 2 is having and gate output and b3 colon 3 should have r gate output right so let's check for errors go for online. Fine. Let's turn on this. It is also giving 4. So let's see in the data file. So B3 colon 2 is for AND. This is for R. So I will just change this to 1. See R gate is giving 1. This is R gate no. Because any 1 is 1 means R gate will be giving 1. Correct. So if I make this also to 1 and the gate will also give 1. Fine. So this is the way to perform the R gate. This will be happening only if your run condition is true. Fine. So this is R gate. If you are turning off your run. See I am not making the run condition on. Okay. Now. If you are changing something, it will not work. See, your output is not updating, right? 
because to perform to make that instruction to make that and and or instruction happening you should make the run condition on fine so let's do that yeah so it is updated it is updated got it if you make this also it will be on so this is and then or gate we are having two more gates let's see that so let's make this to xr xr is there and uh, this one is not so for not i think only one input and one output right because not is the instruction like whatever you are giving in the uh, you know if the input is true it will be giving false like that so uh, in the not gate whatever uh, 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 data you will be giving in the source a it will be reverse in the output if it is zero means it will be one or one means it will be zero so that's what it is having only two parameters see source and destination so let's see turn on so what is xr gate 0 0 0 0 1 1 correct can you see 0 1 1 so here everything is 1 okay okay see see here we have given b3 colon 1 as destination no that is taken as input here we have given the same as or source address so that's what can you see here this b3 colon 1 is the answer of our not gate correct so yeah so 0 means 1 0 means 1 1 means 0 0 means 1 like that it is happening it is giving the exact inverse where n all was 0, it was 1. Here only 1 is there. That is changed to 0. So let's change the value of b3 colon. b3 colon 0. So I'll just give 8. 8. 15. 1. Yeah. See. Now 8 I have given. So it is changed to 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 this is exactly opposite got it so b3 colon 1 so if you find the xr gate of b3 colon 0 and b3 colon 1 that is stored in b3 colon 2 so let's see that 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 if both are 0 then only the answer will be 0 i think we are not having any uh, you know uh, you know option like 0 0 so xr gate will be like 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 is also 0 correct so let's change this to 1 yeah can you see this is changing to 0 okay fine again 1 0 1 got it so let's do one thing I'll just change the address I'll give this as 3 okay here no confusion no yeah make the run condition true So it is completely inversing this is fine correct so if you give some different value yeah it is completely changed not gate is not an issue just uh, you know inverting the source to destination got it so let's see about this xr now So XR is doing B3 colon 0 XR of B3 colon 1 and storing the result in B3 colon 2. 
let's see 101101 so 000 can you see 000 got it let's change something to 1 here also i'll give 1 so it will be 0 now can you see 110 this is xr gate got it so it is doing the bitwise xr operation 0th bit of source to 0th bit of destination correct and storing the result in 0th bit of b3 colon 2 fine and uh, 1 means 0 here 1 means 0 here so this is not a gate uh, source address this is not a gate destination address got it so this is logical bitwise operation in allen bradley so just practice this in uh, software i'll meet you in the next session with one more instruction is pending that is this clear let's see that let's see that in the next session bye